Uh, for the next few minutes, we'd like to spend uh, a little bit of time talking to a few of the people who have participated um, on benefit training. Uh, and they're going to tell us a little bit about uh, what the training uh, has meant uh, to them. I went on anyway. I had an interest in family history, for instance. And I went on to complete my family history because I was able to go into the National Archives and various other sources. The other thing was that uh, it's a brilliant way of keeping in contact with family. As we know, so many people have emigrated in the last couple of years, and this is a fantastic way of keeping in direct contact with Skype, Twitter, and all the other methods. Now, without this particular training, this would never have been available to me. On a daily basis, we are constantly reminded that people of our age group, and I suppose everybody else as well as us, but particularly us, should engage in mental activity that would lubricate the brain and, uh, and keep at bay the many uh, ailments that can afflict us at this stage of our life. What could be more helpful and stimulating than engaging uh, with the uh, computer and the IT section generally? where, as Bernard has already pointed out, there is a bottomless pit of information available. So, a number of years ago, we set up an internet cafe for seniors. And that was a great, it was an event where people could come in, if they needed help and assistance, we can do that, and it's still going strong today. But more importantly, it was a great way of introducing older people to um, computers. And as a result of that, we were able to set up training, uh, and we were able to give beginners training, and now intermediate training. And it's just a joy to hear only the other day, so many old people are now receiving tablets as gifts from their families for Christmas. Um, and it was great to hear the minister this morning say that uh, broadband has been rolled out because we do need it, because without broadband, you know, we're unable to connect. Uh, but one of the real key areas that this has meant is breaking down the isolation and loneliness. It is so, so important for older people to remain connected, to remain connected with their family, their friends, their neighbours. And what better way they can do this by the comfort of their own home. Just last night, I was able to talk to my sister, who's in Sydney. Now, she made me very jealous because she told me the, w the weather was so hot there. But, uh, you know, it's just a wonderful way uh, to remain connected. And another area that we're, we're um, working on, too, is text texting with the mobile phone it is so cheap to be able to do that and uh, you know you can send a message very very quickly so there are areas and I'm delighted uh, that more and more older people are now coming and um, taking computer classes and uh, I'm delighted that we'll have broadband in so many areas around the country because that was badly badly needed I used to be a technologist and um, I owe my life now to community and to these sort of things of managing my own, my own um, health care. And through the benefit uh, program, I actually got involved two years ago just as a way of giving back to the Family Resource Centre. Um, as a trainer, uh, I'd heard about the uh, Benefit 4 and I delivered it. And as a result of delivering it, one of the trainees that was on it approached me for to know, could she do it? and that brought it into looking at it from a, a commercial point of view. So she did the, uh, took her from uh, the uh, unemployment through the uh, qualifications uh, using TUS, using all of our, 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 our different uh, in, uh, initiatives. And uh, she's now, uh, we're just uh, been awarded 600 places for to deliver uh, a project to the chronically ill using pharmacy, which I know you have an interest in also, um, as the front line. So is that the uh, benefit for, I have found that uh, the elderly that are chronically ill are invariably technology technically um, uh, challenged. And the benefit for uh, program now is allowing us to actually address that because of the, the, the versatility that the program actually allows to focus on using apps, using self-monitoring, 
and to link that then with the national digital strategy for SMEs on the, on the pharmacy side. So it's uh, I, for me, I'm extremely grateful. I now have I'm in full recovery as a result of uh, uh, of both community and the family resource centre and the uh, interaction of of, um, of community initiatives like this and then the technology. So I'm very very grateful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ray. Um, those stories are just a flavour uh, of some of the stories and like with 500 odd people going through the programme each week there are hundreds, indeed thousands of more of those stories throughout the country. It's fantastic that we're now going to be in 700 locations uh, and I mean it, it gives you a flavour this morning of some of the impact that, that's there wh wh when people uh, take the opportunities to acquire those skills and the new doors that it opens uh, for them.